All right, now that we have the high end and low pressure probes hooked up, the next thing we want to do is put our air probes into the ductwork to measure uh, relative uh, humidity and air temperature. Well, one of the things everybody forgets about these probes is they are wireless. You know, everybody wants to drill a hole like this one in the duct, put the probe in the duct, but that is completely not necessary. Look where we're measuring right here, and look where the filter's at here. It's a much better application if we just simply open up the filter grill, slide the probe in the ductwork so it can sit here and make an air measurement, close the grill up, and get a measurement of the return air right where the air is entering. If I'm on a commercial job and I have to work with a, a lay-in register, then I'm just going to simply go up my ladder here and put my probe right up inside the lay-in where it can measure. And I just pulled this down just a little bit just so I can get a good grip in there. That probe will stay up there and now we can get a good supplier measurement off the ductwork. You just want to you want to be six to ten feet ideally away from the system when you're making an airflow measurement. If you're too close, you're going to get influence that are radiant cooling from the evaporator coil which will give you poor readings. A couple of things we want to make sure that you understand when putting the probes in place in the ductwork, and these, you can't stress this enough if you're going to get good readings. If you don't put the probes in the right location, you're going to constantly get what looks like low airflow readings when in fact the airflow is just fine. This is the same if you're going to measure temperature split across any evaporator coil. You don't want to be uh, right in line inside of the coil. So again, you can see if we're gonna measure, we should be on the side of the filter rack or in this hole here. We don't wanna be down here in the bottom right below the coil. Heat travels from hot to cold and it's called radiant cooling. So even though the air is flowing up this direction, the probe will still get influenced by the cold evaporator coil. We're gonna see if the, if the probe can see the coil, the temperature will be influenced. So we do not wanna be directly below the evaporator coil. The other place we don't want to be is up here in the front of the ductwork right here, right above the uh, fan uh, housing right here, because there's a dead spot right here. If you look inside this cabinet inside here, and we flip the light on so you can see a little bit in the back, that ductwork goes quite a ways back in there, and it's on a dead spot right here. So again, we're not going to get a good sampling of the air. When the air comes up this ductwork, it's actually traveling around this backside. It crashes into the front wall and actually circulates a little bit inside this ductwork. So actually measuring here, we're actually quite a few feet away the way the air circulates in this ductwork and we're gonna get a good, pretty good sampling. You sort of need to visualize sometimes what the air is gonna do in the ductwork. If these weren't uh, caulked in here, another ideal location might be to just take the screw out, just loosen the screw up enough so I can slip it in behind the register and slip it inside. What you don't wanna do is bend the fins out of the way on something this tight because you can damage the tip on here, pulling it in and out of the register over and over again. I've seen it happen uh, where people have damaged things. And also you bend up the register and, and make it not look so nice. So it's just really, you know, these aren't, these aren't really hard things to do. You gotta use a little bit of common sense when you're placing the probes. But again, you don't wanna be too close to the evaporator coil. And you definitely don't wanna be in line of sight or it's gonna influence your temperature measurement. So this is really quick and simple and easy to set up. Don't make it harder than it has to be, and you'll really get your job done a lot faster.